Susan, this really is just devastating. And tonight we just spoke to family members who say that mother was here at Dockweiler Beach with her family. They were having a bonfire. Uh, she decided to cross the street to get the, to her car around 1030 last night. And we were told that she also had her two-year-old son in her arms. And that's when police say both of them were struck by a vehicle that just ended up driving away. Uh, take a look at the picture we have of that 33-year-old mother who has been identified as Wendy Palma from Downey. Family members think that she must have seen that car coming because of the way that she tried to protect her son from the blow. Wendy ended up shielding her two-year-old from the impact. She was killed and her son only ended up suffering cuts and bruises. Now detectives are determined to find the driver of that car responsible for this hit and run. While plenty of people did call 911 to report this, there is only a vague description of that vehicle tonight, which police say is a dark Toyota 4Runner. Detectives say there's probably heavy front end damage on that car, so they're really asking that people in this area keep an eye out for a vehicle matching that description. They're also asking for any other witnesses to come forward, and that's what family members are begging for, too. They say they're desperate to find out more answers about this hit and run that ended up killing a 33-year-old woman and injuring her two-year-old son. Again, we are told that he is out of the hospital now with just cuts and bruises, but family members say they're just devastated knowing that this mother has died trying to protect her son. Reporting live out here tonight, Jessica O, Fox 11 News. All right, Jessica, thank you.